gang, it's Mike from PowerBI.Tips. I just wanted to bring up uh, it's 2019, new things, new tools we want to provide to you. So I'd like to introduce you guys uh, to a new tool we're producing. Let's start off with what's the concept? What's behind this thing and why would I want to use it? Well, first off, if you're in the desktop, there's a lot of really cool visualizations that you can use. I think there's over like, let's say 30 or so of them. Well, there's also, if you turn on the option, you can actually add your own custom visuals. That's denoted here by the three little dots here at the bottom. You can bring in something that's custom. You can click the ellipsis and you can go get something from the marketplace, which brings up Microsoft's site around getting custom visuals together for you. Here's the custom visuals on the gallery. You can see, you can pick different charts. You can pick um, editor's picks, all kinds of really fun thing. Let's try the other option here. You can also import from a file. Either you have to get your own or find somewhere to download it. Well, today I'd like to introduce to you a new place where you can get custom visuals and we're gonna call it gallery.powerbi.tips. It's a new website that we've developed. This is our welcome page. Open it big here. We have a header nav bar at the top here. This is just a welcome page where I'll put a video to welcome you to this and show you how it works. If you click over here on featured, these are custom visuals that you can go download from Power BI Tips. They're just visuals that have been made with a tool. You can go ahead and click on any one of these visuals. So if we click on this colored one here, or like a heat map, it'll download a viz file to your computer, and then you can import that. So if I click the ellipsis now, import from file, I'll go to my downloads, and here's the little viz file. It has a, a unique identifier. OK, and now I get a little icon. So this new icon is the new visualization that I just imported. You can see here. Well, because I'm preparing some data here, I'll just show you what we have. I've got a data set here with dates and temperatures by day. So now what we can do is by clicking on the visual, I now have the visual on the page. I can then grab my date field and add it to the granularity piece. And this really defines the granularity of the visual. Additionally, I can bring in the temperature average for each day of the year and now I get my same chart. Now, it just so happens that I'm using the same data that I used to generate the chart initially, so this makes a lot of sense. So what are we graphically looking at here? This is essentially 365 data points. It's all of 2018. This is data around Chicago, and it's just temperature data. So there's lower temperatures denoted here at the short bars in blue for cooler temperatures, and then red bars, and they're taller in the red and orange area for the summertime when it's warmer. This could work with any kind of data you're looking at. This could be days by site traffic. This could be days by sales volume, all kinds of other things. And the idea here is we're looking for a characteristic of the red area where that's the trend. And for this, since it's temperature data, the summer's typically warmer than the winters. And that's what we're seeing here. So great, there's a ton of really cool visuals here, but what if you wanna try your hand at building your own? Well, I'm glad you asked. So also here on the nav bar, you can see we have this thing called the chart builder. So if we click on this, it'll navigate you to a new website, charts.powerbi.tips. And this may look very familiar. This is actually a derivative of the um, charticulator tool that Microsoft has built. So I took the GitHub repo of this, made some modifications, and now this is my input mechanism for anything that's on the gallery. So if you build a visual here, can go check it out and we can add it to the gallery at a later date. So if I want to build a quick bar chart, I can then click on mark here, drag it to this glyph area, I have bars, and then if I want to adjust the height of that bar, I grab the value and drop it to the height. And now I have a bar chart. You can export this by clicking the export icon here. Here's our little export icon. And when you click export, it'll only let you download to a Power BI visual give you some properties and things you can download here. And then if you hit uh, download Power BI Visual, it'll then drop this file down to your desktop uh, called My Visual. It actually uses the name here under the visual name. Well, let's keep going here. We start a new page, we'll add in our new visual. So I'm gonna grab the ellipsis here, import from file, navigate to our downloaded My Visual file that we just created. Go ahead and hit open. It should successfully load. On the page here, I will click the new My Visual, drop it in the page, boom. All right, so now we're ready to add fields to this. So we, now we can add our granularity piece. 
So let's try dates again. And this time, let's grab the height to be our temperature max. And there it is. Now we have another chart, uh, the bar chart that we drew earlier on this data set as well. Well, I hope you like this new chart and gallery themes. Uh, keep checking us out. There will be more updates monthly uh, as we add more visuals to the gallery. Just click over here on the Featured button, and there will be more visuals added all the time. Thanks for watching, and we hope you'll enjoy the downloading of these visuals and building your own with the Chart Builder.